Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about the Episode 17 trailer that was just released. So this is Melissa Benoist's directorial debut, so it's her episode. Looking forward to this. This is not going to be for quite a while. I think it's April 26th when this comes out, so 22 days, still a long time. But if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to get right ahead into this and we're going to be talking about the trailer. And I got something else to add on at the end of the video, which I think is very intriguing. But anyway, so let's go into the trailer. So the first shot of the trailer, we got Lex. He's sitting down. He's like drinking his tea or something like Lex normally does. And so he says the first order of business is destroying the Kryptonians. Then we go over, we see Lex inside the Fortress of Solitude. So he's found out about it and he's in there, I guess... To destroy the Kryptonians as he says just prior to that and then we cut to Supergirl who is standing in the fortress as well and she says it's not gonna happen and so I don't know if they're in the same scene like they're talking to each other because it seems like she's not that confrontational like I feel like she would have been more confrontational if Lex was in the fortress because like how the hell is Lex getting into the fortress but we'll have to wait and see as to what is going on in that specific scene we go over, we see Lex, and he is in the facility, the Leviathan facility, I'm pretty damn sure. And he's got blood all over his hands, so why does he have blood? Has he been shot? Has he been stabbed? I don't think it's any of that. I think if you cut over to the next shot, you see his hands sort of like, just out in the open, and I think someone has touched him, one of the people who are lying on the floor. Probably one of the patients like reached up to him and like they're like covered in blood or something. I think that's what's going on. So it seems like he is visiting the Leviathan facility. It could be something else. Maybe it's just a shelter for like wounded people. I don't know what could have happened to actually wound them. Apart from, you know, later in the trailer, we definitely are in that Leviathan facility at some point in the episode. So I'm guessing it's probably this. And also William found out about the facility and what was happening. So I'm guessing some sort of search went on and the next shot sort of backs up that point because I think it's in the exact same place it looks very very similar but we've got Supergirl and John and John is just like in his I guess like private detective kind of gear and they're at this place there is police outside they're inside and it seems like it could be in that same facility it looks kind of similar in its looks so maybe they find out about this and this episode is quite heavy on the Lex and Leviathan obviously the title is in reference to Lex and we move on to the next shot and we've got Lex and he is with the lady from Leviathan we still don't know her name or as far as I can remember let me know in the comments down below if you do and so Lex says they won't stop until they uncover the truth and this is Lex talking to the person. So this definitely backs up my point prior because, you know, they're talking about people digging into everything. And also in the synopsis, it seems like Lex is trying to get Lena to work with him more. But also he's using Team Supergirl to get to Leviathan in his own ways. Because remember, he's not working with Leviathan because he wants to. He wants to do it because it could threaten him, basically, and threaten what he plans to do in the future. So he is sort of doing his own schemes I guess and so we got Lex in this next shot the cameras focused in on the gun he's about to shoot someone I don't know who it is but maybe that has something to do with the blood that you saw in his hands prior to that then we move on we go to that facility again seems like the patients are being moved or this is a new patient being moved into the facility he's got the eyes from the VR tech so he's stuck in there because his eyes are turned red not blue and so then we move on to the next shot again in that same place but it does seem like it could be in that same place like as in in the facility maybe they did find out about this about the leviathan place and it's weird because on the right you see there is you know very out of focus but there is a person with a camera so maybe there is some reporters here so maybe it is like a massive kind of bust that has happened because why is John here and why is Supergirl here and why are there cameras and everything so I think we've sort of sussed out what's going on but I could be wrong in the end it's just a lot of theories right now but then we move on to the next shot the next shot is inside some other facility maybe it's the same I don't know but the lighting's all purple you've got Lex and you've got Kara it seems like this is Kara 
and this is what he says this is the beginning of the end and then you've got Kara screaming no and I believe this is her because it does look like Melissa's hair and who would be able to survive the blast bar Supergirl really on our show like maybe Nia or Jean definitely but who looks like this Kara does it seems like there is some sort of explosion that goes off and it seems maybe she's been targeted so what happens if Kara dies or Kara gets you know blown to smithereens like this like you can't actually see anything it's just her silhouette basically so that's how powerful I guess the explosion is so she screams no and then we move on to the next shot we've got Lex and remember a lot of this episode is going to be I think in the past or talking about the past because in the synopsis, it talks about how we're going to find out why Lex became this powerful in this version of reality and what happened to him post-crisis. We see Lex as he has this piece of kryptonite. He's about to slam it into the ground or slam it into, say, Supergirl or Superman or something like that. But he is extremely angry, nevertheless. And we move on. We go back to the Fortress of Solitude. Kara looks very scared and there is some sort of explosion that goes off. So I'm guessing... It could be Lex and her in there at the same point, and then you see this next shot. I have no idea what's going on. It kind of looks like she's traveling through like the Phantom Zone. So what happens if Lex turns on the Phantom Zone projector and sends Kara in there, and that's why she's screaming though? But it definitely does look like the Phantom Zone projector, so I don't know what Lex needs from it, but I guess we can sort of root back to that line that he says earlier in the trailer. First order of business is destroying the Kryptonians, so maybe this is the other version of Supergirl, like before. As if you remember, after Crisis happened and everything turned to Earth Prime, we obviously have a chunk of history that has completely changed because the past is different. What happens if we see some stuff from there? I guess that could be interesting. I don't know what exactly is going on, but that could be true. Okay, so the final shot of the trailer, we've got Lex in some sort of pajamas or something, which is really strange. And there is like curtains, I can't really crack down. It seems like he's just in like a house or something, so maybe he does have like a proper house in this version of reality. And so he says, I saved the world. And so this is in reference definitely to Crisis on Infinite Earths and what he did because he had the book of reality or whatever we called it and he helped the heroes actually survive and create this new reality where, you know, the Earths aren't all destroyed. So, yeah, that's about it for this trailer. So let's move on to the final thing I wanted to talk about. And so this article comes from Screen Rant. It's called Arrow, the character Melissa Benoist originally auditioned for. I found this really interesting because Melissa did audition for a role in Arrow like a few years before she got Supergirl. And so I quote, Melissa Benoist may be the star of Supergirl, but she originally auditioned for a role in Arrow. And then we scroll down. So Melissa Benoist had originally auditioned for the part of Oliver's little sister, Thea Queen. In the end though, she lost out to Willa Holland, who impressed the showrunners. And then obviously David Rappaport, who is the casting director of all these shows, remembered her and she was the first audition for Supergirl and she got the role so what would it have been like if we saw Melissa as the queen like that's a completely different role it's a very dark role and we would have obviously seen a very different side to her obviously I'm beyond glad that we got her as Supergirl because she's the perfect Supergirl and you know I don't know if anyone else can top her like if there was like a film or something it's gonna be hard if it's not her and so I guess it's kind of strange to think maybe she could have been Thea Queen because, you know, Willa Holland is really, really good as Thea Queen and she's extremely different. But I think Melissa would have worked in it because you've seen the sort of darker side to her with her playing like Overgirl on Crisis on FX and you've seen the red kryptonite version of Kara and we saw Red Daughter, so we've seen her go dark, and I think she can definitely go dark, and I think it's just an interesting idea to think on. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it, if you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.